Hey guys, it's Joshua JD's Auto Detailing, and today we're doing a camping supply haul. My wife and I went to go get some new camping gear. We went to Sierra, we also went to Dick's Sporting Goods, and we also went to Walmart. We we're gonna be doing some camping this summer. We're gonna be featuring the 2022 uh, Toyota Tacoma, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna feature all those different trips and things that we're doing with the truck. But until then, we're gonna actually show you what we got from Sierra, Walmart, and dicks but before we get started please remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so starting off small with these spork things um they were $2.99 um they're really nice because they're metal so they're reusable washable whatever and they also extend really far actually so um that's pretty cool they're really nice they have grips on them so they'll last a long time hopefully so there's that all right so i already took the main packaging off of this but Guys, if you are gonna go camping, please be smart. Bring a first aid kit. It only costs $10, $15 to get one of these things. Now, are these perfect? No, but is it gonna get the job done if you're in a pinch or you need something drastically like when you're out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, so definitely wanna have these. I don't remember how many pieces this is. I think it was like 75 different little pieces, but there's a bunch of little things in here, um, band-aids, bandages, whatever. So we also got this at Sierra. I believe it was 20 bucks around there. So. There's that, and this is really convenient. You can just put it in the back of your car. You don't even know it's there until you need it. Next up, we have a survival fire striker. So this is really handy in case your lighter or your matches that you bring, you run out of them, whatever, so it's really nice to have. This was uh, $6.99, and um, yeah, so it's more of a just-in-case item. So next, we have a Adidas it's a basic drawstring bag, you know, you put shoes, clothes, whatever in there. Um, it has a ton of pockets. The nice thing about this is that it's really lightweight. Um, it was only 10 bucks, so if it gets ruined, it's really not a big deal. Um, they're just nice to have in case you don't want to lug around a backpack or whatever. So, um, yeah, really nice item. You can't go camping without any meals ready to eat. They're really nice to have. So first we have chicken and dumplings. We got breakfast skillet for breakfast time and also classic spaghetti with meat sauce. So really nice to have. We only got a couple of them. Just a couple, maybe a few more than a couple. Yeah, uh, we, we got too many. But seriously guys, these are really handy to have. Um, they're really cheap at Sierra. I mean, some of these meals are, you know, this one's $9.99. There are some that are even eight or $7. And if you cut that price in half, then that's your price per meal. So if you're sharing with somebody, it's really, really easy. All you need to add is hot water to these and there you go, you're good. So they're also really good as an emergency kit item so if that's what you want to do you can put them in your car or whatever other than that they come in pretty much every meal you can think of they have dinner they have different breakfast options i mean the choices are honestly endless it's what you prefer i know there are even some vegetarian options that we got um, but it just really it's you know it's your preference for what you want but there are a ton of different flavors and options in meals. speaking of mres and totally off topic i'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to steve 1989 mre info Guys, check out his channel. He has a ton of awesome MRE videos. I know this is completely unrelated, but he is, he's hilarious. He does really, really good reviews um, and he does a bunch of different kinds. So if that's something you're into, please check that out. He's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. So if you go over to his channel and check his stuff out, please let him know that I sent you. Steve, collab soon. All right, so on the topic of food, um, we got this little tiny cutting board, super cute, um, you know, it is what it is, it's a cutting board, but it comes in handy because it's small and you can pack it away really easy. Yeah, this was a uh, total impulse buy. If you guys have ever had these, these are really good. It's just a beer, nuts, bar mix, um, and these have you know the little wasabi peas in them, so they're really, really good for snacking, um, but yeah. Okay, so if you're going camping, you gotta make sure to bring some enamel plates, bowls, cups for your journey, because honestly, they hold up really well. Each of these sold individually. So, you know, if you are gonna buy a set, which is really nice at Sierra, you can buy it to, you know, it's just me and my wife. So like just the two of us, right? So we don't need a set of 12. So these are super cheap. It's by far the cheapest price you're probably gonna find for an ammo wear anywhere, even on Amazon or other camping stores. And honestly, we're just really excited to use them. It's gonna be a great product. Um, these are gonna last a really long time. So um, really good investment in case you're gonna be going camping a lot. Lighting is essential when you're going camping. So we invested in some new headlamps, um, you know, so for hands-free. Um, so these are just some storm-proof. They are water-resistant headlamps. They come with batteries. Um, super, super excited to use them in the tent or like if you're trying to cook outside while it's dark, you know, you can be hands-free, which is really nice. Um, overall, really excited to use these and I'm hoping they last a long time. Our second and final lighting piece is this 
camping bulbs and basically these are two bulbs that are held together with a string so you can actually put it inside your tent from the top and they just hang down so it's kind of like a light so it's really nice um, to have in your tent um, with a full fresh battery they will last six hours so the led um, but they are super nice and um, you know they're really light as well so that's nice for packing away and stuff like that my amazing and sweet wife found these blankets they're awesome and you know you can't go camping got too many blankets you know it's better to be safe than sorry so um, but yeah super nice I got one that had this like it's called a travel blanket but it has basically a liner inside so if one side gets wet the other side doesn't so like the thought is like if it gets wet and it rains on you then the side that you're sleeping with doesn't actually get wet so you don't wake up freezing really nice super soft and if you guys are going there you should be able to find at least some sort of uh, nice affordable blanket okay so one off topic purchase that we made were these and that's for one very important purpose so this is the important purpose this is hazel she's a cavalier king charles spaniel then she drives my wife and i crazy but we love her so she loves balls you know like any dog does when you're shopping can't forget the pups treat your pup well you know they appreciate it and for the final sierra item we have this high sierra queen air mattress the really nice thing i like about this is that they include the air pump so you don't really have to think about it. it's all in the same package and this actually can either plug in through a regular outlet or it has a car adapter so whether you're at the campsite or at home or whatever you'll be able to fill this up so a huge plus that we really like with this air mattress is that it's actually a pleasant color most air mattresses are just really ugly don't really look well so this is a really nice green air mattress i'll kind of go with everything so you know it's more neutral color and this air mattress was only $39.99 so it's a really good deal because it does include again it does include the pump with it so you kind of have to take that into consideration as well so this is the one and only thing that we actually found at dick sporting goods so this is a hydro flask coffee mug and you know 12 ounces has the handle it has the um lid right here so it does fully close it's not fully sealed but it will close so it doesn't spill in the car or whatever you have it um one really nice thing that I love about Hydro Flasks that if you notice, if you get more of an off brand and they don't really stay hot or cold as long, Hydro Flask does keep your stuff hot and cold for a really, really long time. So if you guys are looking into getting some sort of thermos or insulated mug or something like that, go Hydro Flask. They just last forever. They take really good care of you. They are more on the pricey side, but I swear to you it's worth it. And you also can find, uh, find some sales sometimes on these. So just keep an eye out for that. And also they come in a lot of cool colors, you know, um, mine's gray. She ended up getting a blue one, but um, I use mine in the garage when it's cold in the winter. Um, you know, I put coffee in there or whatever. And then also in the summer too, if you want to keep your drink colder longer, you just put your drink in there. So, uh, but really nice to have, highly recommend you get one of these um, if you're going outdoor camping or whatever. As far as the Walmart part goes, we did order a tent, two camping chairs and a table. And they will be arriving in a few weeks, but and we wanted to get this video out to you as soon as possible but you will be seeing those items featured in our camping vlogs in the future. All right guys, and that's it for the camping haul. We're really excited to use these different things through the course of our many camping trips that we're planning on taking this summer. We're at least planning on two or three different trips. We really hope you liked the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time that we post a new video. Also, leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are on Sierra Trading Post. It was our first time going. We loved the store, we thought it was great. Have you ever been? What were your thoughts on the store? I would really love to know. Thanks for watching, and until then, get outside and do some detailing. See you next time. Bye. Do you think you should be in the video? Are you interested in being in the video? You seem very interested. You want to look at the camera? Okay. You want to part of the camera? Are you interested now? Or you just want the tennis balls?